It's been a couple weeks since we last looked at our seedlings, so let's take a look and see if they're even still alive. Two weeks ago we placed our seedlings into individual pots. We placed six of those under a HLG65 5000K and we placed six of those under a HLG65 4000K and we placed six of those under a 6400K T5 high output. Two of those guys. And uh, yeah, let's take a look and see how they're doing. I think you guys will see that we see some problems right away. So if we look at the plants on the top two shelves, we'll notice that those plants are looking a little bit more yellow. They've got some signs of fungal disease and we got some ruffling or curling right on the edges of the leaves. If you compare these top two plants or these top two racks with the bottom rack, you'll notice uh, that there's less fungal disease on the bottom rack. The, the growth isn't as dense, but it is more green and we don't see um, we don't see that ruffling on the edges of the leaves. Now because all these plants are on the same feed program, I've narrowed it down to a couple of things that are neither the fault of the grow lights or the nutrients. They're actually grower error. Simply put, the plants on the upper two racks were just getting too hot and too humid. This caused fungal issues and stressed out the plants. Heat would rise from the lower racks, making it much hotter on the upper levels than the lower one. Combine hot and humid with brighter lights and you're just asking for your plants to be stressed. In order to correct this issue, I removed the humidity domes off the plants. I sprayed them down with a light sulfur spray to help with the fungal issues and turned off the heat mats. I also added a small fan to help circulate the air a little bit better. I'm hoping these plants aren't beyond repair, but I wouldn't be surprised if we've seen some casualties. Why don't you guys let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions that might help these plants thrive a little bit better. Thanks for watching.